while using any loops functions e code block or try catch never forget the whatever the uh, colon at the end and the left indenting we have to maintain because the indent part whatever we maintain is considered as a part of a block of the code start a simple for loop for i in range let's give 5 i am giving the colon here enter print i now this is the simple loop let's see what's the our output okay 0 1 2 3 4 now what you can you can understand from here that for is our for and in both are the reserve words are internally used keywords in python we can't use it as a variable and range is a function it takes three inputs so three inputs are first is we can say that it is the stat value and uh, next is the stop value and third one is the step value three s you can remember that way so start value is where our counter will start and uh, stop value is where it will stop the last stop value is not included it will stop before that one before that and the step value is by default is one here i am giving one means i am giving the only the stop value say let's say i am giving it starting from say if i am giving two thing two numbers then it starts from one ends at four one before the stop value stop value is five now by default i need not write it by default it is step value or incremental value is one so start value is one stop value is five and step value is one if i will make it two also so the increment will be at the range of two and it will not start from zero now by default the start value is zero so here now it will start from one yeah it started from one increment i have given two so it, can, it is printing three now suppose i will increase the stop value to 10 means it will go up to 9 now so let's see how it works it is 1 3 5 7 9 because i am giving step value as 2 if i will remove this then my step value became 1 so it's 1 2 3 4 up to 9 now let us understand how this uh, different uh, utilities of this for uh, for loop before that let us first understand what is the outside the loop now you can see that the code block whatever write with this after this whatever i maintain the left indent so uh, let's say i am telling print high now this will be printed along with the this is a part of the code block because i am maintaining the same indent from the left so this will be high will be again and along with the number i it will be printed so let's see how it prints yes one high two high three high if i don't want a line break here i can say end is equal to fine now there is no so one two three four okay up to nine and with along with high now i just want to say where my code block ends the moment i removes the left indent my code block ends or the loop ends there now i'll say print um out, outside the loop so this line will print after printing 1 to 10 or whatever is inside the for loop see it is at the end let us start with uh, different uh, values for i in range will start from 0 let's uh, end at 100 and step of 10 so let's just print this print i so it will print 0 to 90 <coughs> because the last 10 100 value it will not reach so this is fine it, we can go negative also let's say i will go towards minus 100 and by increment is minus 10 starts from 0 let us see what the output is it's minus 10 minus 30 up to minus 90 if i want to include 100 also then I have to go it's up to 110 so this will include 100 let us understand continue and break so we'll go here again now let me just for i in same I am just using 0 200 in step of 10 fine print i now this will just print as you will know let us push it little top we can delete this output also fine 
so now uh, for our understanding let us print uh, know where the loop ends print um, outside the loop so this if i'll run it will just print as you have already seen 0 to 90 not 100 0 to 90 now let us add one condition here now let's say mm, if sorry let's say if i equal to 50 what happens i will write continue continue is a again a reserved keyword or internal used python word we can't use it as a variable now moment it come across continue what it will do it will skip the next line of execution inside the code block and it will jump to the starting of the loop again the loop will continue so once in the entire uh, cycle of uh, continuation of the code block once i will get the value equal to 50 so what happened then in that case this value will not be printed so 50 will not be printed let's check it you can see 30 40 50 is skipped because it has come across continue so it has pushed back so this line is excluded this line is not executed moment it came across continue you can say one more code block also we can add here let's say print uh, sorry not here we will put it uh, to maintain indent is outside now let's let me say print high in this case i will give a break here sorry end is equal to so i don't know line break i will just print so these are inside the for loop let's see what it's it's just adds one high to this but the moment i is equal to 50 then this continue gets executed and the loop without printing these two only lines it goes back to the for beginning of the loop now what happens when we, we when you use break here instead of continue break break will not return it to the beginning it will return to outside means moment it is become 50 now no more it will be stay inside the loop and it will come out so what will happen now further printing will not be done and it will just directly come to the last line or outside the loop this line will be printed directly this i am outside the loop let's see so nothing beyond 40 will be printed you can see 0 20 30 40 then it jumped to because we have used break here now let us say um, again to give you the difference if i am putting continue then the control jumps back to the beginning of the loop but it skips these two lines only for that condition but here now by using break we will permanently exit the loop so these two are about continue and break now let us next we will understand what is the else part of the loop else is also a part of the uh, loop but it executed once we completes the loop or the loop is exit uh, once we come out of the loop let us add the one more code block here below this fine remove this part we can little scroll okay let's i am pasting it here for the time being let's remove this if condition we'll understand first now there are two print commands i'll give now print uh, i am outside but inside else now let me add the else part what's the indent it is in aligned with the my for part e l c else now because it is else so i have to give a indent here now imagine this else is in line we are in aligned with the for it is a part of the for loop not a part of the code block so it is aligned with the my for command and after else i have to give a code block because this part i want it to be executed within the once the loop is completed so let us say uh, let's see what it prints now but the, the okay let us see but this else part will not be repeated fine you can see this it is printing 0 to 90 0 10 20 30 because you have also included that high and i am outside but inside else this once only it will be executed and the outside that is permanently it is now i have exited the uh, loop 
So wh what is the else part is uh, required? Else part, note, note that else part is an optional part. You don't uh, necessarily use it. So uh, if you if anything is there to be executed after the loop, then only you can come. But there it is that always the else part will be uh, executed. We'll see that. Now we before that we have learnt uh, continue and break. Let us see what happens if I have uh, this continue and break concept. Now let us again go back if sorry if i equal to 50 i am introducing continue fine so what happens as before it is but in case of continue also the else part will be executed let's see you can see 30 40 50 is skipped because i have used continue so it is going outside the loop now let's see what happens if i use break now here i am using instead of continue i am using break now in case of break the else part will not be executed let's see what happens see it is the i am outside the loop this line directly printed the last line whatever is that this line is printed but this line is not executed because the else part will not be executed once it encounters the loop encounters break this is the basic difference between a break and continue one more difference you can say because the else part also will not be executed in case of a break whereas in case of a continue let's see again in case of continue the else part also gets executed fine i am outside but inside the else part let's see how we'll print the, all the elements of a list using a for loop uh, okay we'll delete this add one more code block here let's crawl bit up okay now you let us start say my list my list is a list so if you are uh, watch our video on list if you are not comfortable with the list it's a in other languages we call it array similar to that let's i am putting the elements there one you can give your own names also I am giving one two three four these are the strings I am adding here fine L let's uh, work with this much now for str str is our variable in my list my list is our list here now I have given the colon here now print str fine this will list all my elements you see one two three four all are printed i can like that i can use a uh, tuple also one dictionary set anything you want you can list it out let's try how a string is string is also a collection of it's a character array type so let's try okay we'll instead of that we'll let's, let's try a code block my str i'm giving a string here now a b c d e f g okay some characters i have added now for str in my str my str is my string variable again colon print str what will happen it will print character by character let's see how it prints fine all one by one character it has printed because one 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 because this is a collection of uh, character so it printed like this so that is that is how we will uh, print a we will use for loop for a list a dictionary a tuple or a set like that we can use now there are another concept in nested for loop nested for loops are frequently used there are it is like a loop inside a loop let's little understand about it now let's start nested for loops this is a loop inside a loop so we'll call it uh, inner loop and outer loop for i in range let's say five instead of printing we'll go for one more loop see the second loop is with the indent so it is inside it's a part of the code block of outside loop j in range let's say again five so what i will do i will print it print uh, whatever it's required let's say let's print j 
value of j now let's run it it will be uh, printing one by one so let us give remove the line break so n equal to let's give like this so uh, we will not print any line break so let's see what's the output it is entirely printing 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 like that it's continuing because the inner loop that we are not given any line break let us give a line break at the uh, end inside the outer loop so it is parallel to the inner loop so print uh, this is uh, inner end will give in inner end so this will have a line break so it will tell now let's give little space here fine let's run this so you can see 0 1 2 3 4 inner end then again 0 1 2 3 4 inner end 0 so this this is the inner loop this this inner loop prints one line and comes out prints this is outer loop is from 0 to 5 so if you are printing i value now this will be inner end inner end and let us print the value of i here let us see what it uh, prints you can see the i value is 0 1 2 3 4 that is the this is a nested loop so you can see the outside i value is this i value we are printing it is printed once a j value completes the loop i can just give uh, will com come out completely print sorry the string outside all the loops so this is the last line this will not be repeated it will be simple printing outside all the loops this this inner loops will use uh, or this uh, loop inside the loop will use to uh, display some patterns we will understand in our next video how to display the patterns that will give us a thorough understanding of how the inner loops work